Yeah, good day YouTubers. Tinker O'Toole again with another video on the Herka Slave. Today I'm going to talk about turning mild steel. This has got to be the worst uh, metal that you can turn. So what I've done here is turned a bit of mild steel. And I'm just going to put a picture up so that you can see, because if I zoom in on the camera you won't see it that good. So I took me time to get a close-up picture of it. And if you have a good look at it, on screen you'll see that it's got all the lines in it typically what you'll get with the uh, mild steel now okay we talk about speeds and feeds and you know we learnt that in trade school and everything else like that there but one thing to remember that on this particular type of home lathe that I've got here in the workshop it's a single phase motor a three phase motors got up to two to three times more torque so therefore even if you run this at high RPM, and I've tried it before, you still don't get a, a good finish on mild steel. And we're all told in trade school to keep the cutting tool on the centre line. Because if you don't keep it on the centre line, especially when you go to face off, it's quite easy. You end up with a little nipple or a little pip, as they call it, and you can quite easy snap off the tool. So over the years, I've learnt dealing with mild steel and the best uh, or the best setup let me put it that way the best setup that I've found that works uh, for surface finish on mild steel is dropping the tool uh, height by about a half a millimeter so but if you do drop the tool height by half a millimeter you can't face off on it you'll end up snapping the tip because it will create a nipple. So what I would generally do, I've got two brass uh, packers under here. They're set at one millimetre high. So what I tend to do is uh, just take one of the half millimetre packers out when I want to finish off to get a nice surface finish. So what we'll do is that we'll turn this and we'll put a picture up uh, of... Uh, what it came up like okay so I just turned it and while when you first look at it and we'll just put a picture up on the screen while it actually looks very similar if you get your fingernail and you run it over you find out that the part closest to the, the part that I just turned is much better uh, yeah it's much smoother on, on that part and it's much rougher on this part with the fingernail. So the surface finish uh, is better. Now, it doesn't mean that it's perfect. Now, I had another piece of steel and that's this little bar here and you'd probably be able to see that on the camera. You can see that how smooth it looks there and it looks a bit smooth there but it looks a bit rough there. All right, I think you can see that on the camera. We'll take a picture of it and put it up. But this was turned uh, with the tool being right at the centre line and this was a half a millimetre below the centre line and it's much smoother. So I'm not too sure on what type of metal that is. It was in my scrap bin. But look, use the fingernail test. The fingernail test really does work good because you've got so much... Uh, nerve endings in your fingertips that when you scratch it with your fingernail you can really feel uh, that through your fingertips so yeah that's my advice for surface finish on mild steel I have tried using higher RPM why it may work on some metals I don't find that the speeds and feeds really helps me a lot with mild steel now I'm running the slowest feed rate on the Hercus so the slowest feed rate is up the top here, so which is uh, E, and I run it down on the lowest setting here on the gear uh, on the tumbler. And that's the sl slowest uh, feed rate that I've got. So I've played around with the speed. I've ran 1,400 RPM. doesn't make any difference. Mild steel is absolutely crap no matter what speed you run it at. So that's my advice is that you definitely lower this up to about a half a uh, half a millimeter and you'll definitely get a smoother finish 
So, yeah, uh, and make sure you put plenty of oil on. That's the other thing. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye for now.